We expect an additional five of these bills to be um, finished and enacted by the, on the part of the Senate and the House before the year ends and before we go on our Christmas break. When we resume, we expect to be able to pass on the part of the Senate about um, three to five more of these measures, totaling therefore an additional um, 13 um, before we go on formal break and end the 19th, um, the 19th Congress. Thank you, Senate President. And now we shall hear from the Honorable Speaker, Martin Romualdez, on the next steps and the salient points from today's meeting with the President. On behalf of the House of Representatives, we are very, very pleased to announce that uh, we have reported to the President and to the like, DAC Council that, again, the House of Representatives has accomplished all but two of the priority um, uh, legislative uh, measures uh, labeled as priority. And uh, we are confident that before the year ends, uh, we shall have finished all uh, by December or six months in advance. We are most delighted under the new um, uh, Senate leadership that we even have a more uh, dynamic and uh, proactive Senate. And we are most appreciative to the Senate President for the output of the local bills that the Senate has uh, generated for and on behalf of our Congressman. Uh, we know that um, uh, the, uh, the, the Senate um, has, uh, has a lot still uh, to accomplish, but uh, we are very, very happy to see the progress and uh, much more efficient um, uh, manner in which the uh, priority legislations for um, our Congressmen, the local bills as well as national, are being undertaken. And we praise the um, uh, Senate uh, for this uh, new development, and uh, we are one and uh, with the Senate in fulfilling the uh, legislative priority agenda of President Ferdinand R. Marcos, Jr. For the information of the Speaker, given that it was not discussed earlier, the Senate has passed 79 local um, bills, and um, we have run out of local bills to take up on the floor, so we will be pushing the committees of the Senate to um, ramp up the uh, filing of committee reports so that we can continue to take up these local bills and approve them until um, 30. Again, we are one um, uh, with the Senate, and again, we express our appreciation and uh, support for the Senate leadership under Senate President Chisa Scudero in fulfilling um, uh, these um, uh, hopes and uh, uh, wishes of our uh, legislators on the local front and now also more especially that um, even national bills have been passed and um, are waiting for um, uh, enactment into law. And again, we thank um, Senator Chisa Scudero for his leadership. Thank you. Uh, I believe we're open to questions now. May we open the floor? Okay, let's start with Let Narciso, DZRH. Uh, uh, sir, yung sa Senate po, lima yung natitira. Ano po yung lima na yun at yung sa House yung dalawa? Uh, on the part of the House, we just have the Foreign Investors Long-Term Lease Amendments and the amendments to the Agrarian Law, which, again, I'm, uh, I'm glad that um, uh, Senator Chisa Scudero brought up some clarificatory issues that um, have been ironed out at the LIDAC, and we are looking forward um, uh, to um, its uh, progress and, um, uh, uh, well, soon to be you know, um, uh, passage, at least on the part of the House. It would be the same with respect to those two um, bills, but in addition, would be um, the UHC law amendments, the PRL law amendments, and um, the new Department of Water um, bill, which has been approved in the House, but um, has not yet been approved by the Senate, awaiting completion of a reconciled version emanating from the executive branch. Next question. <clears throat> Eden Santos, Net 25. Good morning po, Speaker and uh, Senate President. Uh, regarding lang po dun sa budget na panawagan po ni PBBM na mapasa po on time, uh, syempre hindi naman po mapupondohan itong mga bills na ito kula po yung ating 2025 national budget. Uh, maraming salamat, if I may, um, uh, to the SP. Uh, uh, mamayang po konti kasi kahapon po lang nakatanggap ta yung uh, certification of urgency uh, yung, uh, R, yung bill natin na uh, maging uh, RA, yung um, uh, House Bill for uh, 10800 or the fiscal budget uh, of 2025 of the administration. Mamayang gabi po, 
may papasa natin po yan on third and final reading and ready for transmission in short order to the Senate. Kaya itong pinaka-importanting uh, batas na hinaharap natin po sa Kongreso at uh, tapos yung kumpiyansa ko na ito ay may tatapos natin itong gabi uh, dahil sa pagka-certify ng Malacanang urgent po itong, uh, itong batas na ito po. Kaya uh, that will be done. So halos, nice. halos kasabay ng kamera kami nagsimula ng mga pagdinig kaugnay sa iba't ibang departamento para sa kanilang gaa sa darating na taon. At uh, inaantabayan na namin ang pagbigay sa amin ng uh, approved version o tinatawag nating GAP o General Appropriations Bill galing sa kamera upang magsimula ng talakayan kaugnay ng 2025 budget sa plenaryo ng Senado. Sa ngayon, on schedule ang mga pagdinig sa komite ng Senado at uh, minaasa namin na ito'y maaprobahan ng may sapat na panahon para ito'y mabasa at ma-review ng Pangulo kaugnay ng mga line item veto na maaari niyang gawin sa panukalang budget upang maging ganap na batas ito bago matapos ang taon. Next question is Chona Yu, People's <coughs> Journal. Mr. Speaker, speak, uh, speaking of budget, what will happen to the budget of the Office of the Vice President? Uh, sa ngayon po, um, uh, we are on our last um, uh, day for plenary sessions at saka inabangan natin ng uh, OBP. So sa ngayon yata, um, uh, hindi pa yata siya yung sumipot pero eh, i-check up ko pagbalik ko sa Kongreso. Actually, dapat nandun ako ngayon pero nandito tayo. Pero inihintayin din natin yung, ano, yung uh, uh, representatives o si BT mismo. Sir, what will happen pag hindi siya dumating? What will happen po pag hindi siya dumating, si Vice President? Abangan ang susunod na kabanata susama. Pero hindi, <laughs> sa totoo lang po, we will um, uh, take this matter up um, uh, shortly and uh, you will soon be informed of its resolution po. Thank you, sir. Salamat. Raquel Bayan, Radio Pilipinas. Sir, with the certification of uh, the budget bill as urgent, ano pa po kaya ibang challenges na nakikita natin that can hinder yung on-time na passage ng budget bill? Uh, wala po na. Uh, wala, 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 wala na pong challenge kaya um, uh, this will allow us kasi we are all set and scheduled to um, uh, pass this on second <coughs> reading tonight but the certification of urgency allows us to uh, similarly pass it um, uh, within short order today at the reading. So, uh, handa na kami na ipasa itong gab natin for transmission to the Senate in short order. Pero mamayang gabi, tapos na to. Sir, can we expect that before Christmas ma-approve na po ni Pangulo Marcos yung budget kung on time naman po yung... Uh, Opo, yun po talaga. Ang hangarin na po natin ay um, uh, para merong uh, maligayang Pasko. Uh, hindi lang para sa Pangulo sa Administrat, pero sa taong bayan na meron tayong isang national budget for progress, prosperity, and development para sa buong sampayan Pilipinas. Pia Gutierrez, ABS-CBN. Hi, hi, sir. Sir, speaking of the OVP's budget, can we get your, your comment or reaction on the uh, VP's decision to repeatedly snub the plenary debates? And will this lead to any delays in the passage of the budget? Well, um, uh, we'd like to very much see the uh, Vice President, but um, uh, she selected um, uh, to absent herself, and uh, she has sent us letters um, uh, explaining why. But of course, um, we would most appreciate her presence. Ivan Mayrina, GMA 7. Uh, sorry again about the Vice President. Like she said, uh, she has repeatedly chosen to, to snub the hearings of the budget. And uh, as a result, some, of, some members of the House are saying that if she doesn't want to fulfill her duties as Vice President, they can call for her just to give up the post or just resign. Uh, what are your thoughts on this, Speaker? Well, lahat ng mga congressman may, ano, may um, ideas, meron silang mga opinion. But uh, before tonight's end, um, uh, we will come to a resolution and that will be the act of the plenary. So instead of listening to um, uh, individual opinions or comments, uh, as you know, in Congress, we act in a consensus, as a consensus body, and as a collegiate body rather. And so um, uh, we will deal with that um, uh, as soon as uh, you uh, allow us to uh, leave this uh, no, uh, press con so we can uh, return back to um, uh, normal programming. But uh, we are very, very delighted to have this opportunity. Marami salamat sa, ano, sa pagliging nating ano, ulap sa magandang uh, uh, ulayan dyan sa LEDAC kanina po kasama natin ang mahal ng Presidente President Fernando Marcos Jr. LEDAC related question. <laughs> uh, of course, these are priority measures you discussed uh, at the LEDAC meeting this morning. 
ano ho kaya ang pwede nyo ma-share sa mga ta sa taong bayan kung ano sa mga priority measures na ito ang top of the list? Kumbaga, priority of priorities. Well, obviously, the number one is still the national budget. That is the matter of all legislation where all the initiatives, programs, and, uh, well, how the economy will be, um, uh, well, uh, reinvigorated or to uh, make it move forward for everyone's benefit. Concomitant uh, to that are other um, uh, legislations that um, uh, we have a whole gamut of them. I do not know where to begin. Eh. The same as 64 dito, but uh, I find them almost equally you know, important, but uh, uh, I, 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 we passed just about all. So I don't know where to begin other than the fact that I can give you um, uh, the 64 legis uh, priority legislations. I will maybe defer to the uh, Senate President because um, uh, uh, some of the Senators um, uh, like to say that they are more deliberate on, on this. Sumbaka, they have something uh, more, well, they prioritize some of the legislation, but in our case, we have taken them as a whole. And uh, as we've already reported, we have passed this uh, way, way in advance of schedule, uh, taking it as a whole bundle host. But kasi mas marami din tayo makakaano, eh, makakadeliberate kasi mas marami, tatlong daan kami. Kaya we can actually, kaya natin tutukan talaga, pero the um, uh, Senate uh, may appear to be more uh, uh, deliberate in its actions because they are. They have. Uh, they only have 24 senators to work on it, but uh, we always differ. And actually, in practice, we usually even uh, concur with Senate versions on matters and in order of the priorities. So, I, I think I'll uh, defer for this, this this moment to the Senate President on what he um, uh, determines or what he feels are uh, top priorities. Um, the. Um the list of priority measures approved by LEDAC was actually an accumulation of both um, proposed legislation coming not only from the executive but also members of the Senate and Congress. Mm -hmm. So um, these are the priorities of both Congress and the executive. Um, and the speaker is correct. Um, we are only, we are supposed to be 23, uh, 24, now only 23. So we have less people doing the same job that 300 members of Congress are doing. In fact, every member of, of the Senate has more than two committees to chair. Some members even chair as many as four committees. So given time and motion studies and given um, human limitations, we simply cannot do it as fast as the House does it, given available manpower um, to, to the Senate and to members of the Senate. Um, but all of these are considered priorities. That's why we were able to... Um, to um, proceed with respect to these bills, 12 of them in fact, ready, five enacted into law, seven ready for the signature of the President in a span of 26 session days. Minus pa yung mga baha at pag-ulan na um, na kinaharap natin itong nagdang mga buwan. So we have about 41 remaining session days until the 19th Congress ends. We hope to be able to maximize it by way of passing most of these laws, including um, the advocacies at the local level of our friends and colleagues in the House, as well as those from members of the Senate. Okay. We have room for one more question. Okay, Christian is Isores, Radio 630. To SP Chispo, uh, how can we assure the public board that the budget will be pass ta sa tamang timeline po sa Senate plenary given na may mga upcoming pa pong malalaking hearing din sa Senate like yung case po ni Pastor Kibolon. I throw the question back at you. Has it ever not been passed by the Senate on time? Regardless of which year. Um, it has always been passed by the Senate um, in time before we uh, go on recess. But um, to address your question directly, um, the Senate has entered into a G2G agreement with the PICC whereby we were able to add or get five rooms because we only have six in the Senate um, to enable members of the Senate chairing the various committees to be able to do their respective hearings without affecting the um, budget process that we are currently um, undertaking. Thank you, sir. Uh, any final words? This is quite historic to have uh, both the speaker and the Senate president here. Any final words, sirs? Again, we welcome um, uh, the leadership of uh, Senate President uh, Chisi Scudero leading the uh, Senate, making it even a more dynamic institution and um, uh, one that has established more um, uh, cohesion and coordination with the House. 
Thus, I'm having uh, uh, an optimum output right now in terms of uh, legislation, both at the national and uh, local levels. So we look forward to um, uh, uh, working further um, uh, with our colleagues in uh, Congress at the Senate level, under the leadership of Senate Chief Scudero, in pursuit of President Ferdinand R. Marcos' um, uh, priority legislative agenda. Maraming salamat po sa inyo lahat. Likewise, we thank the Speaker for his hard work um, for our country, and we thank um, the Speaker likewise for his leadership in so far as paving the way for smoother and better relations between the Senate and the House, which has resulted in the passage of many pieces of legislation, whether part of the priority or LEDAC measures, or simply national bills and um, local bills that have equal importance in their respective districts and constituencies, it will be able to help and serve. As I, as I was mentioning earlier, for example, we need to still pass um, the extension of the IBC 13 Charter. We still need to pass the NHA Charter Renewal. We need to pass the PISAM char um, Charter Renewal, because all of these will be lapsing by next year. So although not included in the priority list of legislations, these are important bills nevertheless that needs congressional action. Again, thank you and good morning.